so today is going to be a cooking video it's been a long time since I've done one of these and I hope you guys enjoy this was so yummy and I wish I could give you all a plate <laughs> let's get started so I'm just gonna show you guys the rice and beans that I made prior to recording I wish I would have recorded it but don't worry I will record it next time <laughs> I wish I would have recorded myself yes. making the rice and beans, Haitian, Haitian edition. Um, but this was my first time making it successfully, so I didn't have that much confidence in actually recording it. And honestly, I didn't really think about it. So now I pulled out my camera so I can show you guys how I make the rest of the dinner. So this is my red beans and rice, and it came out good. So we're just gonna leave that alone. It's on low. Very much just chilling until the rest of the food is done. So let me show you guys what I'm working on currently. So this is my seasoning and this is um, Haitian seasoning, Epis. And that's gonna go in, that went into um, that went into the rice and beans, but again, I will record a separate video on that when I make it again. I have my chicken in here, it's in the sink, and I cleaned it, and then I'm working on some of the things that are gonna go inside the pot with the chicken and right here I have clothes and a tip that a lot of um, videos showed me on YouTube was to poke it inside of a pepper or um, just as a green bell pepper just so that it can stay in place while it cooks because you don't want to take a bite of this while you're eating and the food's all done to eat this by itself is disgusting but this little thing brings so much flavor to food so it'll give it that haitian caribbean flair so i all i did was poke it inside of here i feel like i was working on an art project and as you can hear that's stacen he's never too far so now that i'm done with that i think i poked enough <laughs> in them and the reason why i have two is because I'm going to have two pans to cooking the food because this is a lot of chicken and I don't have I'm using the biggest pot I have and that was for the rice so I need space so I have two pans and I have two things of chicken so right here is onions and then those bell peppers I might cut up more, I don't know yet. Some lemon juice. And then I have tomato paste. I have garlic, but I do need to get the regular um, whole garlic. My mom says that <laughs> Haitians don't cook with this. So I was trying to, I'm trying to like get down with more authentic dishes, so I'm, I'm trying to learn. And I didn't really pay attention growing up, so this is easy for me, because it's already minced, but she said that there's something about the taste of regular garlic in its original form that's just different. I also have here three plantains that I'm going to fry separately. I also have this bag of Flour that's bagged like double bag because I hate when flour gets all over the place and that's going to go I'm going to make dumplings with that little dumplings. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today's meal So yeah, just watch me cook <laughs> I'm just putting all the seasonings and all the items I'm gonna need nearby the stove so I can season the chicken and I'm gonna show you guys every step of the way as far as like the products I use, the seasonings, which ones. 
And here I am just adding the chicken to the pan and then I'm going to season it while it's in there. Preferably, it's you should season like overnight. That's the best way to marinate it. But Okay, so like I stated previously, I'm not sure if I did or not, but the chicken thighs, they're chicken thighs that I cut up even smaller, but they have been cleaned with lime juice and also hot water to what they call chaude. To, that's, just, that's just a step in the process. But so I'm just gonna season them. And then we'll start the cooking process. So I'm going to add the epice that I mentioned in first. My mom made this for me. I'm just going to add the lemon juice that I set aside and then just mix everything up with the spoon. If it wasn't already in the pan and the pan was a little hot, I would have just mixed it up with my hand, but the pan was hot. chicken thigh is covered I'm doing the same thing for the pot behind it I'm also gonna cut up a tomato One that's already like kind of getting soft. So this one is like middle of the line. It wasn't either. It was like getting soft, but it's still. Yeah. But that's what I got. So I'm gonna use it. The recipe I'm following. That's what she uses. Tomato in here. Now I'm gonna add our cloves. Just gonna add our flow. Now I'm just gonna put some seasoning salt. chicken y'all <laughs> so just mixing 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 and then I think here I'm gonna add oh garlic my mixed garlic <laughs> I will get garlic cloves soon and then I'm going to add I only had one scotch bonnet pepper so I cut it in half yep I opened it so I put it in each part I do like spice in my food and it does give it a good flavor. I usually don't open it though because that makes it a little bit spicier, but it was fine. Everything worked out just fine. I'm just going to add more water. 
basically I'm just gonna let it cook and simmer for a bit so that the chicken can cook and seep in all the seasonings and do its thing. Sometimes you just gotta leave food alone. Added a little bit of salt. Since I added more water, I just wanted to make sure the water didn't, you know, thin out the taste of all the seasonings. I'm also going to set the timer since I'm going to move on to making the dumplings. I don't want to forget about these. So, 40 minutes. It takes a while to cook Haitian food. Trust me. I was at this almost all day the day before but it came out so good and I'll get quicker with the times the more I cook it so let's move on so I'm gonna be honest this is my first time making dumplings and we call them boy in Creole as far as the Haitian culture when it comes to dumplings every I know every Caribbean culture has Dumplings. I love dumplings. I love it in soup. I love it with a side of oxtails. I love it in food in general. But this is my first time making it, y'all. And of course, I went up to the good old YouTube and looked up how to make dumplings. Super simple. Salted water, not too salty. You got flour. You put a little bit of oil in the middle, and then you mix everything up together. And so I'm just going to show you guys the process. Very simple. And then I'm going to roll it up and put it into boiling water. And eventually I move them over into the pan with the chicken. So but that's much later. And it came out perfect. So I will be making them again very soon. It was a lot of first in this video. The rice and beans and now the dumplings. I made chicken thighs forever and a day. All the time. And plantains forever. I've made those forever so I had two new additions to my repertoire I'm getting there y'all I'm trying to up my little skills when it comes to cooking food from my own culture because again a girl was not paying attention to her mom when she was in the kitchen getting down at a young age I was not interested I just was interested in eating it and yeah so time to learn how to master it anyways continue watching in there to give it some more taste so that's why the water is that color and that's where I'm gonna add a majority of them but then some of them I'm going to add into the actual um, chicken stew as it cooks to give it more of the chicken flavor just watch and see I'm just gonna dump it sorry this footage is not very clear but this is closer to the stove so all that steam fogged up the lens but it's super simple. Just keep dunking them in there carefully, obviously. And then, like I said, I put a few inside of the other two pans, like the little tiny ones. And then eventually towards the end, you will see in the very last clip, you will see that there's only going to be one pan for the chicken and the dumplings. So everything gets combined into one. And it was really, really good. I recommend. 10 stars. <laughs> so did I mention cooking chicken Haitian style is a whole process. So now we're back to the chicken and it's been past the 40 minute mark. We're taking the chicken out of the pan. All of it. <laughs> 
So I am going to fry the chicken. We can bake the chicken for a healthier option. This meal is like the ultimate cheat meal. So don't come here thinking like I'm gonna lose some weight with this meal. That's a negative. <laughs> this is a comfort meal at its finest. So I am going to fry the chicken and I added some tomato paste here. And it's very simple. Just put it back in the pan and fry them. And then when they're done frying, take them out. And I'll show you guys what I do after this part. But basically, I'm just gonna fry them until they're a nice golden brown color. <laughs> to it that's the whole point of the frying or if you're gonna bake it same concept just healthier and sometimes I bake it sometimes I fry it depends on how long it's processed to go and now I'm gonna put everything back into the pan with the sauce and of course you have to taste your food along the way it was yummy and it's not even all the way done so I had a little dance <laughs> a little happy food dance and yeah so now I'm transferring everything into one pot. I'm over the two pot business. So since the chicken thighs have cooked down, they have gotten a little bit smaller and everything can kind of fit into one pot now. So I just pull out the plantain so you know what's coming next. Oh wait, we're not done. Let me add my bell peppers to it now. And a little bit more water. The water adds to all the seasonings, that adds to all the chicken that's been cooking, that this is what makes the sauce at the end, which is really important as well. So we're going to let that continue stewing, and now let's fry up some plantain. So I think this is pretty self-explanatory, but you're just going to take the skin off the plantain after you have washed them, of course. Get some oil going in a pan and I sliced the plantains down the middle to get the skin off easier and cleaner in one, well, two, three scoops. <laughs> and then I added onions to the stewed chicken and that's still doing its own thing and now I'm just going to cut up the plantains cut them however you want but I tend to cut them at an angle I like them a little bit longer that way and then I'm just going to switch places with the pots and put the one in the back which is a stewed chicken on low now and now I have the pan I'm going to use to fry up the plantain in the front <laughs> to the end of them and you just basically keep an eye on them they go fast and they can burn really fast so as you can see the first batch was a little bit darker that's because I got distracted <laughs> so I don't know about y'all but I'm hungry just watching this oh my god wow so here's the finished product y'all this food came out bomb, Bay approved, so that means big things over here. <laughs> and look at that. We got the rice and beans, we got the 
patients do the chicken thighs. We got the plantains over there to the back right, and then the dumplings to the back left, which I, at some point, moved. Oh, as you can see, I moved it all into one pan. And this was so good. It went by really quick. Like I said, I cooked this, what, yesterday? And it's gone, practically gone now. There's only a little, there's more chicken. There's a little bit of chicken left, but it came out so good. I wish I could turn on smell -o vision so y'all can smell it. I wish I could give you a plate. <laughs> it came out so good and I'm so proud of myself. So I'll definitely be making more meals and recording them to share them with you. And I hope you enjoyed this video for Vlogmas Day, day four. See y'all in the next one. Don't forget to hit the like button, drop a comment down below to let me know if you liked what you saw, and subscribe. Bye!